Hey, what's up? This is Soldier Knows Best here. This is an in-depth recap video of Apple's event they just held on September the 9th, 2009, going over really everything they deal with music. So they went over the new iPods, they got a new iTunes coming out, new software update for the iPhones and iPod Touch users. So it was a lot of things covered, and the event, I think, went over pretty well. Uh, now, the first thing I would really say that Steve Jobs is back. He did uh, come out the event. He introduced the event. He closed the event. And so he really came out. This is his first... Um, actual event since he had his liver transplant, which he actually said he got from a 20 year old, I believe, uh, who died in a car accident. So it was definitely good to see him back on stage. But let's get back to the facts of what happened in this event. Now, first, it's going to be a there's a new update for iPhone and iPod Touch users. This is the 3.1 software updates, which bring a lot of good enhancements and bug fixes. It does fix the one bug fix that the icon you get a different icon for the actual application so I downloaded the IMT pain application I got the icon the icon for um, you know peanut butter jelly application or something like that so it, it definitely fixes that bug into it uh, also let me go over list it has a tons of things here when you go to download it you'll go over there uh, now you have um, support for the genius mixes you have you can redeem iTunes gift cards codes and certificates in the App Store on your iPhone or your iPod touch uh, displays um, available iTunes account credits in the App Store you can browse and download the ringtones you can save video from mail and MMS into the camera roll so that's pretty good so MMS is coming September 25th you can save those videos straight into your camera roll onto your phone itself um, you also got a new option when you're trimming a video on your 3GS you can actually save the clip as a new clip because right now when you trim the clip and you save it 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 overwrites the original video now you can keep the original video and also keep the clip that you change it's better why wi better Wi-Fi performance when Bluetooth is turned on and, um, and also better 3G performance as well you can remotely lock your iPhone with the passcode from mobile me you can use it with voice control on your iPhone 3GS for Bluetooth headsets you can paste phone numbers into the keypad um, and that's about it. There's some other things there with exchange support and all that, but you can read all of that all over yourself. So this iPhone and iPod Touch update is free for iPhone and iPod Touch users. So you can download that right now for absolutely free. Now let's get to um, iTunes. iTunes 9 is a new release in iTunes, and it, it brings a lot of enhancements. It cleans up the interface of it. Uh, but the first thing they talked about is going to have over 30,000 ringtones you can download right now. So they're going to be $1.29, and these are pre-cut ringtones you can download straight. Uh, you can pre preview them first and hear the whole thing before you actually buy them. But of course, for all you Mac users, you can still make free ringtones yourself in GarageBand if you want to go ahead and get a free ringtone. But for all those non-Mac users and people don't want to do that, you can download ringtones right now. Um, now, this one feature, which I've been waiting for a long time, is app management. So now you can actually manage your applications that are on your iPhone and iPod Touch on in iTunes itself. So you can organize how, on what pages you want the apps to go on. Because the iPhone can get pretty colored, and I have about 40 or so applications myself, and you kind of want to have them on certain pages. Say I want a page just for games and a page just for my Twitter apps or something like that. You actually got to hold them down one by one and move them the old way. Now you'll be able to organize them in iTunes and make it a lot easier for yourself and then just sync it. So you can select multiple applications uh, that you want to move to another page. You can select entire pages. It's really going to be a fun thing to use, and I have a demonstration of that here soon in another video. Um, and home sharing. Home sharing is another new feature in the iTunes 9. You can actually share your music library, your video library, even your applications that are downloaded in your iTunes library up to five different computers in your home. So five different computers will be able to see all your information and you can share those among those computers. So this is really showing Apple trying to open up and allow you to be a little bit more flexible with your own content that you bought, that you bought and paid for. So you can, now you can be able to have home sharing up to five different computers. Um, also, they're going to have iTunes LP, which is really just, you know, like extra content. So you download a CD um, from an artist, and now sometimes, you know, you get a special edition with uh, pictures and photos and lyrics and all that stuff. Well, this is really what iTunes LP is going to be. It's just going to be really extra content that you can do. And this also will also work with the DVDs or the movies in iTunes, and there's going to be iTunes Extra and you can see all the DVD extra features that you normally get on a DVD or a Blu-ray you can get that in iTunes and actually be able to watch that and so um, iTunes also has some Facebook and Twitter integration with it as well so you can um, create your your playlist or your wish list for an iTunes and sync it with Facebook and, and Twitter now they, 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 they kinda just kinda went over that I don't really see the, the 
you know the functionality of that but hopefully um, as we dive into iTunes 9 and I'll make another video on iTunes 9 I'll be able to show you exactly what all is new with that Facebook and uh, Twitter integration and and so that's that's iTunes 9 you can download that right now and now to go to the iPods now this is the main thing of this whole keynote and it, and they went over some information this is basic iPhone um, I'm sorry iPod information now I'm gonna show you, show you up this graphic here the diagram and this is the market share with the mp3 players and you can see the iPod blows everybody out of, out, of, out of competition blows all the competition out of the water now you can see Microsoft has 1.1 percent of the mp3 player market well, definitely that will change for the Zoom HD, which I'm looking forward to. But you know, the numbers speak for themselves. Um, now, this first thing, the first thing they hit was the iPod Touch. The iPod Touch does get the same specs as the 3GS as far as performance. It looks like it's going to get the same type of graphics and same type of um, um, CPU performance as the 3GS right now has. And so it's going to. They showed off some games, and these games look good. They actually have one game on there. It's from Game Law called Nova, which is a first person shooter. And it kind of it reminded everybody of Halo. And this thing looks, from the pictures I saw, I haven't seen the video yet, but the pictures I saw, this thing looks sweet. And it looks good, as you can see. It looks really good. So it's going to have multiplayer over Bluetooth and Wi Fi. And so it's going to be something to really use. And I'm really looking forward to that game. And they ran over a lot of games. Madden NFL um, 2010, I think that is available right now as well. So they showed off Madden. Madden looks good. So you can download Madden and NBA Live is on its way. Of course, a new Need for Speed is on its way as well. Um, that's it. That was it for the iPod Touch. It was kind of surprising. It wasn't really the main star of this whole keynote. So that was it for the the iPod Touch. It didn't get a camera. It's kind of going along with the rumors that they had some manufacturing problems and they couldn't get the camera quite right with the iPod Touch. So they may just scrapped it all together. Who knows? But that was it for the Touch. Um, now, next up was the iPod Shuffle, which nothing really big here, but it uh, I think the prices came down a little bit. It's $59 for the 2 gigabyte version and $79 for the 4 gigabyte version. But they also have a new special edition, which is a stainless steel edition, which it looks good. It looks pretty good. Um, but other than that, it got some new colors. Uh, that's it for the shuffle. Now, the star of the show order say one more thing. When Steve Jobs came back out on stage, uh, <laughs> you're probably expecting a little bit more, maybe a new Apple TV, maybe something else. But um, actually, new, the, the one more thing at this show was the new iPod Nano, which is I actually find very, very appealing. Now, the new iPod Nano also looks, it looks good, it looks great, but this thing's boasts a tons of new feature. It, it has a video camera in it. So you can actually take video with this iPod Nano. You can trim it. You can upload it straight to YouTube. So you, so you can sync it. <laughs> this is my alarm. So you can sync it with um, iTunes and actually upload it straight to YouTube from there. So it has a video camera with a built-in speaker, a built-in microphone, FM radio, voiceover functionality, um, a pedometer for you can use it with the Nike Plus, and also a larger 2.2 display. So the real star of the show is really the camera, which is, I, again, I'm not a big fan of MB, a camera and an MP3 player. It doesn't really you know, shock me, but it's also good to have. It's good to have it, and the fact that you can upload it to YouTube from iTunes is good. But I'm really interested in the speaker. You can now just not have to use the headphones with it, and also the microphone. You can use it for people in college, use it as a voice recorder. It does have that same application for voice recording that the 3GS has, so you can use it for that as well. And it also has an FM radio. So you can see this thing is actually more of a competitor to the Zoom HD than the actual iPod touches if you look at just the specs that it actually came with so uh, I'm really liking that and so new iPod Nano is available and so you can download that as well and so the so it's gonna be it's gonna be good and I'm going to already announce that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for the iPod Nano so coming up so I have another video going to details about that so I'm really uh, really anxious and really excited about the iPod Nano so all in all, I am very, uh, I have to say, I'm very impressed with it. Now, it wasn't very exciting as far as, you know, something totally brand new product that we kind of used to seeing from Apple. But overall, it's a pretty solid upgrade. I think they're really doing a little clean it up, and we'll see a bigger event in October. Uh, but real quick, let me go back to the iPod Nano. It's $149. Uh, for the 8 gigabyte and the 16 gigabyte, and $179. So that those are the prices for it. I don't think I touched the prices for the Touch. The Touch is $399 for 64 gigabytes. Uh, it's $299 for 32 gigabytes, and it's $199 for 8 gigabytes. So that's the prices for the new iPod Touch. So um, Apple is constantly bringing the prices down as they upgrade the products, and they said it themselves. Is actually they see their sales go up 
once they start to do this. So that was the event. Um, Nora Jones came on stage afterwards to perform at the end of the performance. But again, you know, Steve Jobs came out, and I think it's a very solid upgrade. So get 3.1 update, get iTunes, and be on the lookout for the new uh, iPod Nano giveaway and also some more details of that from me. And I will give you a lot more videos, so make sure if you're not subscribed to me already, make sure you do subscribe. You'll be automatically entered to my giveaways, especially for my Nano coming up and also any other giveaways. And you'll be notified when I release new videos going over the new iTunes, going over new software update. I'll go over every single thing, and you might like what you see on my channel. All right, so Mr. Soldier Knows Best here, and I will catch you next time, and I will catch you later. Peace.